Okay guys, today I'm gonna show you some DIY ideas for your room for the next season, which is fall. And I don't particularly enjoy fall. I mean, it's nice, but it just means that summer is over. So I'm kinda sad, but since life goes on, I'm going to show you some DIY things for your room. And I try not to make orange things, because orange is not my favorite color. Uh, like the fruit is fine, but as a color, it's, it's, it's not my favorite. So I challenged myself to make things that were perfect for fall, but were not orange. So if you wanna see what I made, keep on watching, and if you are new to my challenge, subscribe so you don't miss my next DIY ideas. So let's go ahead and let's start. So for this adorable pillow, start off drawing the fox on a piece of paper. First like an oval shape for the face, then the ears, the nose, the cheeks and the eyes. Cut that out and trace the outline onto a piece of fabric. I used felt and cut that out leaving one centimeter of seam allowance. Cut another piece the same way, it can be the same color or a different one and place them right sides together and then sew or glue all the way around leaving a little gap at the bottom part. Use that gap to turn the pillow inside out and stuff it with some cotton or pillow stuffing. Finally, close that little gap too. Now take the template again and cut the cheeks and the little triangles from the ears and use them to trace them onto some white fabric like this. Cut them out, you don't need to leave seam allowance this time, and glue them carefully to the pillow. You can sew them too, but I find gluing a lot easier. For the nose, it's super simple, just make a little black circle and glue it also to the pillow. And finally, for the eyes, you can cut like some curved lines but I decided to make them with some rhinestone stickers. And that's it! This is perfect for your bed and as a gift for a friend as well. Super cute! For this second idea, which is this cute little owl, you will need some clay. I'm using the classic white clay. And first I thought about incorporating some glitter as I'm doing in the video, but it was too much waste, so I decided to leave that for later. I shaped the owl like so, with its cute little ears and some holes for the eyes. And don't forget to attach a wire, so we can put the pin later. Let it dry for like 20 hours more or less, and mix some varnish or white glue or mod podge with glitter and paint all over the owl. Finally, I used some rhinestone stickers like the ones from the beginning for the eyes and even tinier ones for the beak. Finally, I glued down the pin and it's all done. I really like how this one turned out. I think it's super dainty and perfect to place next to jewelry or really anywhere you want. The last idea is really easy to make and you will need a piece of wood like this, the size is up to you. And I decided to cover the edges with some marble contact paper to make it look better. So start off sketching your design with a pencil. I decided to draw an arrow and then I wrote hello fall. write something else of course and once you're happy with the design go over it with a tiny brush and some white paint. It's kind of tricky at first but then it gets easier and you can always erase any mistake with a brush dipped in some alcohol. Add as many coats as you want and it is ready to decorate your room, so it's perfect and ready for fall. So those were all my ideas, I hope you like them and thumbs up the video if you wanna see more DIY room decor ideas. 
Don't forget to follow me on my social media, on Instagram and Twitter, so you can see daily updates, how my DIYs are going, and some giveaways. I love you guys so, so, so much, and thanks for watching. Bye!